Rock Nature Center near Crescent, Iowa is bursting at the seams, sort of. The unique nature area in the Lust Hills is expanding its trail system to encompass hundreds of recently acquired acres. Our Brent Weber takes us to the work being done to prepare those trails in a story you'll only see on 6 News. The seeds were planted long ago, and no one has sowed more of this soon to be open slice of the Lus Hills than Chad Gravy. In 1997, we put together the long range acquisition plan for how to build a preserve that could function ecologically, and every piece of the puzzle is important, and, and these, are, these are really exciting pieces of that puzzle, and it's, it's really a privilege to be able to share it with people, and I'm just so excited to see people get in here and enjoy it. In a few short weeks, Hitchcock Nature Center will open 400 acres of land to the public, acquired in recent years adjacent to the existing park. Well, so we'll come down that arc and then we'll come a more side slope across. Once tender. prescribed burns ended and weather allowed, Chad's team began clearing trails that until now were on private land. There's an old bulldozed road that was put in before 1938. We can see it on the 1938 aerial photos. And it was all overgrown with trees, and so we were, we've just been clearing trees to open that back up again. We'll have to do a little bit of dirt work to reshape some of it, but it's going to be a pretty nice trail. As will Lotus Loop around the yet-to-be-renamed pond and Crescent Ridge connecting to the ski parks. It's not going to be perfect. It's not the same as these low areas. Right. Yeah, yeah. Matthew Little from Scotland is a Ph.D. student at the University of Iowa. His field research in the Les Hills allowed him to join us on the new trails. You're doing a different kind of, of restoration that kids will grow up not thinking that cornfields are the only like natural looking space. Yeah. We'll see what natural really is. And that, I know, that sort of ethos will go ahead with them. And hopefully you're imparting a conservation mindset. And for visitors, Gravy hopes they'll find their own connection. I think it's important for people to recognize that every natural system is unique and so incredibly special, no matter where you are. And so just a sense of gratitude to be able to be in that place, experiencing it. And then I think tuning into the place and developing a, a personal relationship with the place. On your side in Honey Creek, Iowa, Brent Weber, 6 News. The new trails will be open to the public June 3rd. There will be guided hikes and more. And Brent has a link in his story on our website. The open